Hi everyone and welcome back to Faith and Flower. If you're new here, my name is Robin and in today's video I'm going to show you how I pack for a 10-day European vacation with just carry-on luggage. For those of you that may be new to my channel, you may not know that we live in the Austin, Texas area, and all of my family and my husband's family either lives on the east coast of the United States or in Switzerland. So that has given us the opportunity to travel quite a lot, and I have picked up some tips and tricks on how to do that very efficiently. One of the best ways to simplify your travel and make it much more enjoyable is to avoid check-in luggage if at all possible. We have experienced lost luggage and also lots of time wasted in the baggage claim area. Plus, when we travel to Europe, lots of times we are going from city to city and we would like to be able to use public transportation. Things like trains, subways, buses, and trams are a lot harder to negotiate when you are carrying big bulky luggage. And so we have found if each family member just has their own carry-on luggage, this process is so much easier. And when you are running from place to place, you don't have to be encumbered with a lot of extra luggage that you don't necessarily need. And so I'm going to show you how to be much more efficient with your packing and take just what you need. These are the items that I will pack in my suitcase. And my strategy is not to have 10 different outfits, but to have different items that I can mix and match to create 10 different outfits for the time that I'm going to be away. So basically what you want to do is create a capsule wardrobe that will suit the trip that you're planning. This concept is something that I do in my daily life, so it's very easily adapted to travel. And if you'd like more information about my 10 item wardrobe, I will have all my videos linked in the description box below. I'm a big fan of packing cubes and I have these in my Amazon store and the link for that is in the description box below if you guys are interested. But in this one, I have 10 days worth of underwear and camisoles for my trip. And the other cube contains all of my socks and bras. I'm packing one pair of comfortable sneakers and a pair of ballet flats. And I'm also taking a pair of boots and those I will wear on the plane. I'm also bringing five different blouses and these are great because they're somewhat lightweight so they can be worn alone if the weather is on the warmer side or layered with camisoles, undershirts, and sweaters if it's colder. I'm taking two sets of pajamas and again using that layering concept, I'll be comfortable whether our hotel room is cold or warm. I'm also taking along one thin slate shirt, which is basically very thin, long underwear. Again, for very cold days, I can layer that under my blouses or sweaters. I'm taking three lightweight, but very warm sweaters that I can layer over my blouses or wear alone with a camisole. Because they are not very bulky, I won't have any trouble getting them in my carry-on. For bottoms, I'm going to be taking two pairs of jeans. One I will wear on the plane, the other I will pack. This navy skirt, and a nice pair of black dress pants. And now I will show you how I get all of this into my carry-on bag. And starting with my shoes, I like to pack them in some sort of bag. You can use plastic grocery bags or these little cotton bags I've saved from other items that I've bought. They are perfect for this. They protect my shoes and they also protect my clothes from dirty shoes. And they make it a little bit more compact. And this one's rather large. So if I have extra dirty clothes or things like that, I can throw those in there on my trip home. I'm using another packing cube for my blouses and pajamas, and I love these because they not only keep my suitcase organized when I'm packing, but when we are moving from city to city, it keeps my suitcase from becoming a jumbled mess and I can find everything I need with ease. I will be packing all of this in my new Away carry-on. Today's video is not sponsored by Away, but they were kind enough to gift me this suitcase so that I could demonstrate and review it for you in today's video. Away Luggage is known for designing suitcases that are very high quality, very durable, stylish, and loaded with great features. Some of the features that I love are the TSA approved locks and the ejectable battery, which will keep my phone charged up to five times on my trip. The batteries are TSA approved to be carried in the cabin, so in the event that you needed to check your luggage, you could easily eject it, carry it on board, and there would be no issue with checking your bag. 
The inside has two main compartments. This side is great for clothes and other items that can be compressed, and then the other zipper side is great for your toiletries, shoes, and other items. It even comes with a small laundry bag, which will be perfect for stowing away socks and underwear. And when you are not using it, it rolls up nicely into this little bag on the side and takes up no extra room at all. It's water resistant and washable. So when you get home, you can throw everything, including the laundry bag into the wash. This piece is used to compress your clothes, but it also has an interior pocket and Away includes all of the chargers and adapters that you need for various countries for charging the battery. There's a luggage tag and even a small magic eraser for cleaning up your suitcase after your trip. I'm going to use this pocket to store my Fensilate shirt. It would also be a great place to keep accessories like scarves. And then on this side that is meant for clothes, I'm going to put in my packing cube. I will layer my pants and the sweaters on top of that. This rigid compression board really does help maximize the space by compressing my clothes on this side of the suitcase. The other side has plenty of room for my underwear, camisoles, socks, bras, and shoes. Away Travel also offers a lifetime guarantee on their luggage, so if you are in the market for a new suitcase, I will have a link in the description box below. Now I will show you all of the things that I include in my personal piece that I can carry on and stow under the seat in front of me. I have one pouch that contains all of my makeup. In this other pouch, I have blister pads because we do a lot of walking, shower cap, small mirror, my razor, toothpaste, some earplugs, and some hotel soaps. To satisfy the TSA requirement, I have all of my liquids in three ounce or lower containers in a quart size Ziploc bag. And so that's things like shampoo, conditioner, sunscreen, and moisturizers. Now I will show you how I get all of this into my bag. This bag I found on Amazon and I will have it in my Amazon store in case you're interested. This bag has a padded sleeve for my laptop. I also have an extra protective cover there to keep everything safe, but I love that it takes up minimal space and it is easily accessible because that is another thing along with your liquids that you often have to remove when going through security check. I have my curling iron, which I pack in the bottom, and I actually keep this small bag of various things when I travel, like hair accessories, nail files, things like that. And so so there are some interior pockets where I can easily tuck those away. There's a large zipper compartment and I like to put my brushes and combs in here. At the bottom of the bag next to my curling iron, I'm packing my rechargeable electric toothbrush and then in go the two pouches and the liquids. The small pouch included with my Away suitcase will carry all of my chargers and cords. Some disposable makeup removing wipes, which are great because they don't need water, and I use this small pouch for keeping all of my jewelry. I also like to include a small crossbody bag that I can use during the day that is large enough to carry my phone and wallet. A large wool scarf or shawl that will be great as a blanket on the plane and can also be used as an accessory for my outfits. And I have a little spare room in there for my camera. There are two exterior pockets and this side I'm going to put in my water bottle. The other side I will use for sunglasses. And then this front compartment has two pockets, one that is perfect for your passport and the other I will use for my phone. There's also a cord for securing your keys and there is plenty of extra space for small items that you want easy access to in the front of your bag. The pocket on the back can be used to store extra items or it can be unzipped so that you can slide it over the handle of your carry-on bag. I 
I am dressed for the plane in my extra pair of jeans, my boots because they are the bulkiest item, a t-shirt and cardigan which can be removed if I get hot, I also have my scarf in case I get cold, and I like to go without a belt if possible to make getting through security easier. I'll be taking my coat on the plane as well. It has a hood, is water resistant and very warm so I'll be prepared for any type of weather. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And I hope that you got some tips and tricks from my experience traveling that will help you on your next vacation. If you are new to Faith and Flower, I hope that you will consider subscribing. It's easy, totally free. And if you activate the bell icon, you'll be notified each time I upload a video so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.